set a course for Earth. Maximum warmth. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Mod Weekly. 2008, everybody. Yay! Oh, yes. We're back for a new year of modding and all that great stuff to all those amazing little Star Trek video games out there. The first little mod we're going to talk about today, the mod I'm going to bring to you via the medium of the internet, is the DJ Galaxy class. Now this is for Bridge Commander. Yep, we're going back to that old game again. This is for Bridge Commander and I arranged a little bit of a text interview with DJ Curtis a little while ago. I think it was in just just at the end of December, which I was planning to release for a December version of this mod weekly. But unfortunately, I didn't get time to releasing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read out the questions that I asked him and then the responses he gave me. And I'm telling you, you're going to be loving this. Okay, so for the first time in 2008, let's start the show, everyone. Hit the music. Oh, yes. I bet you've missed that music. I know you have. DJ Curtis, a little bit of background for you. This guy was the legend genius which was behind the Enterprise F, the Century Class Enterprise F, which was released not too long ago for Bridge Commander. And he's, I tell you what, this guy has came a long way. He, I think he was sort of in the background scenes of, of uh, Bridge Commander modding for a good little while. And it turns out this guy has been a little bit of a dark horse in the Bridge Commander community. Now, he's coming straight out with this amazing model, and you'll be able to see pictures of this uh, by going to the Helling Frequency boards, I'm sure, if I can be asked to post photos. If not, then of course you can go over to the... where is it? Where did I see this? Uh, yes, the Bridge Commander Central forums, which is uh, bc-central.com. And I'm sure right now you're just thinking, Croesus, will you just hurry up and tell us about this, this brilliant new mod? Right. Okay, the first question I pitched to DJ Curtis was... What the hell drove you to make another Galaxy class for the Bridge Commander community after it already has three? Three? What does it need another one for? Right, well you're gonna find out. This is what he said. It's been a long time since a top quality Galaxy class has came to Bridge Commander. By the time my Galaxy class was released in 2008, summer that is, it will have been four years since Scotchy released the SNS Galaxy. So, there has been a pretty good length of time uh, where one has been the standard. PC hardware has come a long way in that time and this new Galaxy takes advantage of that. Also, a big motivation for me in this project has been quite simply that the Galaxy class has always been how I benchmark my skills. I've made probably a dozen of them in the last five years, a few finished, most not. So this really gives me a chance to justify my hobby. My hope is that in the long term, some really good Star Trek games will be made where my ship can be utilized. Okay. The second question I asked him was, how the hell did you get the ship to look so authentic? Did you use blueprints or schematics? His answer was, yes. I did use blueprints for the construction of the mesh. I'd say I probably used about 95% of it is accurate. Part of the problem in creating a truly accurate representation of the Galaxy class is that on the show and the movies, the actual model of the ship was changing all the time. There was a big difference from the uh, less detailed six foot model which was in the first and second season to the more detailed four foot model used in the third and seventh seasons. Obviously this change made the ship look very different especially in the deflector area. This model was used for every other instance of the galaxy class ship in Star Trek except for Star Trek Generations. In that film they dusted off the six foot model, did a bunch of work on it and gave it a whole new coat of paint. So, as you can see, it's pretty tough to come up with a definitive Galaxy class because there was never a definitive model. My project initially started off as an attempt to replicate the four foot model, but I quickly learned that there are zero references for that iteration of the ship. My ship has become something of a hybrid of all the different incarnations of the ship. At this point though, it's mostly related to the four foot model. 
My next question was, how heavy will this be on the standard PC system? His answer was, with a reasonably modern computer, it shouldn't be a problem at all. The mesh weighs in at 11,000 polygons and has four 2048 by 2048 textures. Uh, those textures will not stress anything but a low-end budget graphics card. However, for the people who have older and, well, crappier hardware, it will also include lower textures. Essentially, there will be a setup that will work for everybody. So if you're one of those people which absolutely adores the Galaxy class, then there you go. You won't have a problem running it. Next question. Will it have a source of separation mode? His answer was, at this moment, it doesn't. However, that's coming and will be part of the ship's release in 2008. I have yet to model the hidden parts, but it will be done. This is one thing that's always bugged me about the SNS Galaxy. Besides, I don't think the guys at Bridge Commander Central Forums would let me get away with not having a source of separation. So, it all sounds absolutely brilliant so far, alright? Here are the differences between his model and the SNS model. Okay, my next question was, what's the difference between your model and the SNS version? His answer was, primarily, the biggest difference is that Scotchy based his mesh on the Galaxy class we saw in Generations. For those people who were around in the BC modding community back in 2003, you'll probably remember that Scotchy specifically called the ship Generations Galaxy. Essentially, if you put the SNS and the DJ Galaxy side by side, the most noticeable difference would be the height and the width of the engineering hull. The SNS is much, uh, what is it? Is much flatter and wider than mine, and it has a neck which extends as well. Also, the SNS rim area is around the saucer star drive, and the nacelle pylons are about half as thick as those of the DJ. I've also modelled in several more ship details. The textures on the DJ will also be crisper and really high resolution. And as I've already mentioned, mine will have source of separation. I'll also be doing a Venture variant, and then the cell phaser pylons will be in the uncorrected direction, as seen in DS9. Well, thank you very much, DJ, for that uh, little written uh, interview that you've done for me. You didn't have to do that, but I would have liked to get you on Skype, but I thought that the, the Christmas show was going to be... Well, really sooner than it was, and I thought I didn't have time to do a uh, voice-to-voice uh, Skype conference. So maybe in a couple of shows' time, whenever you get the, the ship in-game, I would love to be able to talk to you one-on-one -on -one about what you're doing and how you are getting inspiration for this. Because I'll tell you what, I've been, uh, I've been looking at the Bridge Commander Central Forums, just, just eyeing up this thread, and I've got to tell you, man, it looks absolutely beautiful and I can't wait for its release. Anyway, thank you very much DJ. Uh, I'm gonna hand it back over to Zach because we're heading, uh, we're running low on time at the minute. So yes, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this first, uh, this first edition of Mod Weekly. My apologies to Third Era of the Bridge Commander community. I know you've released a ton of stuff over the Christmas period. Lots of bridges, the Generations Galaxy Bridge, everything. But sadly, I just, I don't have time to cover it, mates. But, maybe I'll cover it in the next show. Thank you very much, once again, for uh, to DJ for that uh, interview. And it's back over to Zach. So, until next time, don't forget to check out Enterprise Temporal Cold War. Yep, I'm going to be going on about that mod all year this year. So, stay tuned. Back to Zach on the Main Healing Frequency Podcast. So, until next time, keep safe and well. I'm going to go and nurture my cold. This is Croesus, signing off. Uh, uh.